Hello everyone, welcome to the channel update for May. I hope everyone's April went well. Uh, when it comes to YouTube, my April did go pretty well. What with the release of great works for Crusader Kings 2, the free expansion, and uh, Imperator Rome. Uh, both of those have done uh, well for the channel. I'm very pleased with the results, uh, the new views, and everything like that. And for all of those uh, new viewers coming in uh, from those Let's Plays, uh, welcome! I hope you uh, enjoy the other content that I will continue to produce, and uh, all the old stuff that I, I have. There's a lot out there, uh, both in terms of Crusader Kings 2 campaigns, Stellaris campaigns, and uh, my other games in general. Uh, on the front of other stuff that's going on on the channel, of course, Starflight is... Uh, um, doing quite well as uh, in addition. I had um, Space Quest 3 last month um, for a little bit over a week. Those games aren't very long when you uh, know what to do. Um, but they're enjoyable nonetheless, and uh, they always do uh, bring in some, uh, some good view numbers, uh, which is why I like doing them. Um, we also have Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition still going on. I think that's going to be going on for a little while longer. <laughs> Probably still another month at least, if not maybe two. It is a long game. Uh, it is a very long game. Uh, when I'm done with that, I will. I may look at some shorter, obviously shorter games than that, but uh, shorter console games that I can do, you know, things that probably wouldn't take more than like 20 episodes, uh, just to kind of get some new, you know, fresh starts. Um, Starting the the start of a series always does, uh, you know, way better. Uh, Tales of Asperia is definitely at you know, long, long, long past the point at which the only people watching it are the people dedicated to watching it, um, and that's one of the problems with long series in general. But I like finishing games, so um, we're gonna be I'm gonna be playing that uh, until I'm done. Uh, I'm not going to be doing the New Game Plus stuff for that, though. Anyway, um, those are currently the uh, the series going on. Of course, uh, um, I have finished recording for Starflight, so there will be something replacing that pretty soon. Um, a weekish, something like that, I think, is about what it's got left. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I'd have to go back and look. Um, actually, I could probably look right now. Yeah, okay, episode 20 came out today, and there are 26 episodes, so a little bit less than a week. Uh, Guild of Dungeoneering is almost done as well. The That's the uh, stream footage. Um, and the Stellaris Megacorp multiplayer with Mysterious JG and Zerfall is also uh, going well. Um, do check out their channels. I believe I included links to them in the uh, each video description. Uh, in addition... Um, their links are usually here on the side somewhere. It, it shuffles the uh, actual order every time you load up this page, but uh, Zerfall and Mysterious JG are in there. Uh, do check out their channels. Um, Mysterious JG does a lot of uh, uh, console games similar to ones that I play. Uh, he's also done a lot of uh, 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 Romance of the Three Kingdoms and Nobunaga's Ambition games, so if you like those types of strategy games... Um, there's good content there uh, on his channel for that. And uh, Zerfall does uh, a lot of old uh, C64 games. So if you are also interested in, um, you know, the, the older stuff on my channel, uh, you'll probably like uh, his channel as well. And, of course, uh, we've got the Spelljammer adventure uh, going strong. Uh, the streams for that and the uh, current Thea the Awakening uh, playthrough um, happen on uh, Mondays for, for Thea. Uh, we're pretty close to wrapping that up, probably no more than two more streams of that, and then we'll move on to something else. Uh, and the Spelljammer uh, live play Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition, um, that's on Saturdays. So the Monday stream is uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, GMT minus 4 right now because of uh, Daylight Savings, Summertime, whatever your um, locality calls it. And uh, the Spelljammer Adventure takes place on uh, Sundays, uh, Saturdays, I'm sorry, 
uh, Saturdays at noon Eastern time, GMT minus four. Uh, that's, uh, that's really it. I should probably swap out the, uh, Holy Fury list here for the Imperator Rome. I do like to, uh, feature the, uh, um, latest high view count, uh, paradox thing here. Um, this one, uh, did very well as well, up to, uh, 23,000, uh, views for the first episode. Nothing is doing as well as uh, Jade Dragon, of course, um, the the Aladdin campaign, uh, which is currently sitting at second place in terms of most views behind something that's been on the channel for seven years. So <laughs> it's doing extremely well. It's going to supplant um, the XCOM Terror from the Deep video uh, in probably not a whole lot of time, probably a matter of months. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, uh, I have set up uh, handy lists of playlists here, groups of playlists. You can also get to them uh, on the playlist page. You can just go to the... Um, I'll just go ahead and jump over there. Um, active series, console RPGs, adventure games, gold box and other AD&D games, ultimate and other PC RPGs, strategy and simulation games, and the Dungeons and Dragons actual play sessions. Uh, those are the uh, the groups, and of course if you go to the created playlists you'll get everything. If you want a text uh, listing, it's uh, I did update it recently, but it is still a bit out of date. I really only update it every few months. Uh, over on my blog, I have a Let's Play Archive YouTube, and this is a text list of everything. So if you uh, are looking at uh, at the channel and, uh, it, like, all of the uh, um, the playlists just kind of get jumbled up, they're, they're in, you know, order that they were created and stuff like that. So um, if you're just looking at all the playlists, it, it tends to be pretty big jumble. However, the uh, um, uh, the various groups, I have created some sorting. So like Xenogears and the Xenosaga games are next to each other. The Suikoden games are all next to each other. The Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest games are all next to each other. That sort of thing. So if you are looking for um, specific series, specific game types, you've got that and you also have the list on my blog. Uh, that's, uh, that's a primarily it for the stuff related to the channel. Um, as I said, something will be replacing Starflight in really just a matter of days, uh, so do keep an eye out for that and look forward to that. Um, over on my blog, I do have a new deity up. Uh, it is the, uh, deity for the lycanthropic werefoxes, or foxwomen. Um, Shevola. Uh, this was uh, definitely an interesting deity to work on. So if you if you like Dungeons and Dragons material, especially creating more diverse and interesting motivations for NPCs and stuff like that, with uh, when it comes to religion, uh, I have lots and lots of deities up. Um, working on updating all of the. Uh, monster mythology deities to the Faiths and Avatars format. And uh, there's still a lot left, but it's kind of like looking at the list now, uh, it, is, uh, it is kind of feeling like I'm getting close to the end. Um, there's not that much left, although I do have some things that I'm thinking about adding in that aren't in this list. So it, it's a bit longer than it looks like. Uh, over on Patreon, uh, we have gotten a few more supporters, uh, so I want to thank everyone who has joined, uh, Patreon, uh, basically in the last month, uh, in part because of, uh, I believe the Crusader Kings 2 and Imperator Rome campaigns, uh, so, uh, thank you very much for your support, uh, welcome to the channel, and, uh, I really do appreciate it, uh, names are scrolling by at the bottom of all of the... Uh, Patreon supporters. Uh, I, I value everyone's contribution. Uh, one dollar goes a long way. If, if a, you know, a hundred people supported me at one dollar, it's a couple, you know, coffees a year 
couple of meals out at uh, uh, fast food restaurants, and that goes a long way to keeping the channel afloat and uh, um, keeping me producing content. Uh, we have a, another goal. We, we did get back to our goal of $400 uh, per month, uh, meaning that we are back to doing the monthly multiplayer. Last month was Talisman, which was both a lot of fun to play and um, did fairly well on the channel uh, as well. Um, this month, of course, is going to be Imperator Rome. I've kind of mentioned it in a few places. But a big part of that is because it's the, the new Paradox game out, and uh, obviously I'm going to be doing a monthly multiplayer for that. It's going to slip into the rotation with the Crusader Kings 2, uh, Stellaris, and stuff like that. So uh, if you want to join in on that, uh, it's all organized through Discord, and it will be on uh, Saturday, May 11th, uh, after the Spelljammer game, by about an hour, so... Uh, we're looking at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the start time, uh, and just kind of going until everyone is too tired to continue playing. So if you're interested in joining monthly, monthly multiplayer for uh, for that, uh, do you know join the Discord um, and look for the updates on that. I will be posting uh, on Patreon and on Discord. Uh, I did forget to post on Patreon last month about uh, um, Talisman, and I do apologize for that. Uh, but uh, if you're interested in playing some monthly multiplayer uh, Imperator Rome with me, uh, like I said, check out Discord and uh, um, keep an eye out on the announcements. Uh, the next goal is uh, $600 per month, and uh, that goal will be a new, uh, you know, basically a full new track of uh, videos on the channel. Right now, I, I, I basically have two in the morning that are a console game, uh, usually a console RPG, and a PC game. Again, you know, oftentimes an adventure game or an RPG. Um, other than that, the, everything else is kind of semi-ephemeral. There's uh, um, frequently Stellaris, Crusader Kings 2, and now there will be Imperator Rome campaigns ongoing. Um, but those aren't permanent video series kind of thing. Um, I don't immediately start up with a new one when when one finishes. I tend to give it a little bit of time, think about what I want to do next, uh, wait if it sounds like they're coming out, they're planning to come out with a new uh, expansion, uh, just so that I don't, you know, so I can play with the new stuff and so that I can, uh, I don't have something that's in the middle of, of uh, going for something when the game updates and I have to, like, keep jumping between the update and the old version or something like that. So um, those aren't aren't what I would call permanent uh, video series. Um, there's also the stream videos, which again, depending on what's going on, there may or may not be uh, videos for that at any given time. This would be a new permanent thing. Every single day there would be a new video. And for that, it would be um, this basically selected by poll from suggestions from the uh, current Patreon supporters. So if you, uh, you know, want further input into the channel, um, help me get to that $600 goal and then vote in, you know, make the suggestions and, and vote. Um, that would be, that will be one of the, the main ways to, uh, to do that. And uh, it, you know, gets you guys to uh, have support for the channel. Um, goes a long way. One of the reasons why I talk about uh, the importance of supporting the channel is because while April was really, really good for the channel itself, it was really, really bad for my um, computer hardware. Uh, I, I ended up having to spend quite a bit of money on, on some replacement hardware um, and a lot of time as well. Uh, it, it started out with not really anything related to my stuff, but um, my father's wife's hard drive crashed, so I had to spend um, a lot of my free time uh, basically, you know, trying to recover as much of the data as I could from that, setting, you know, installing a new hard drive in the laptop, installing a new operating system, set, you know, doing the basic setup and, and things like that. Um, 
so that took a lot of time. And then the primary hard drive on my server, which is where I store all of the old uh, Let's Play videos. I keep them all. I don't delete them. <laughs> as kind of crazy as that, that is. Um, that suffered a, a failure. It's operating, but it's going to die. It's it's on its last legs. And I spent a lot of time uh, doing what I could to fix that. I have a, a replacement drive. I've set some things up. I just need to take some more time to uh, get that fixed up and everything like that. But it did cost some money to, you know, get all that, that going. Um, and I'm still not done with it yet. And then the uh, um, keyboard that I use uh, for Let's Playing uh, decided that the WSX keys just wanted to mostly not work. They occasionally do, but mostly they don't. Uh, I don't know exactly when that happened, but uh, I, I noticed it uh, a day when I was uh, joining in with a, uh, a stream and realized that some of my letters weren't working. So, um, yeah, I have gotten a replacement uh, keyboard and mouse. I got a new mouse because uh, my old one just decided that the scroll wheel was going to just go insane, even though it was a brand new, relatively brand new mouse. I'd actually had it in a box for probably four years at this point, um, but it decided that it didn't want to uh, function pretty quickly out of the box, and I was very disappointed by that. Um, it was a, a mouse type that uh, I haven't been able to find any more. They seem to have stopped making it. It's nothing fancy, didn't even sell for much. Um, actually a Dell mouse, but I, I really enjoyed the um, the feel of it. it. It tended to be more comfortable than most other mice I've used, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm so disappointed now that it has been discontinued. I could find some used, but if they're used, I don't trust them. Uh, so back when they were going discontinued, I ended up buying like five of them and keeping them in boxes, and they've just all slowly died over time. Which probably indicates that they weren't very well made to begin with, but I did really like the feel of them. Anyway, uh, so I do have a new uh, keyboard and mouse set. It's taking me some time to get used to the new layout of the keyboard and everything like that, and the new feel of the mouse, but it's uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with them. They weren't too expensive, but still, you know, all of these are unexpected expenses that I didn't really want to spend. Um, I also have a laptop that I do other things on, not actual Let's Plays, but it's where I do all of my replies to from. It's where I um, chat on Discord by text, uh, and where I do most of my Dungeons & Dragons adventure planning and stuff like that. And those hard drives are also on their last legs, although they're not actually failing, they're just degrading. Um, so I've, I've purchased some new hard drives, uh, for that as well. But again, these are all, like, it, it, it just kind of all happened basically within the same, you know, one month time, and it's been fairly expensive, uh, to get all that stuff taken care of. So, that kind of gets to where I am with the, uh, the, the Patreon support, um, and why it's so important to continue you know, supporting me and, and other uh, Let's Players out there who have Patreon accounts and things like that. Uh, it goes a long way to ensuring that, you know, we are able to continue producing videos for you guys. Um, and, you know, basically, you know, keeping the, the output steady and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, any any support you can throw my way, I really appreciate it. It's not just on, on Patreon. Uh, if you've got a YouTube Red account, that goes a long way as well. Um, of course, so does viewing ads on YouTube. Uh, but also uh, subscribing to me on Twitch, um, either with the Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime thing that allows you to subscribe for free, or just regular subscriptions. Um, I, I have set up uh, emotes available for the higher tiers. I don't expect people to really sign up for those in part because I only get 50% of that income so if you have that much money to a certain extent it's a lot better to support me on Patreon uh, 
because I will get more of that. I get about 90% of the support on Patreon. So if you... It, it, it does vary also depending on, on what the actual support is. If you're supporting a lot of people on, on Patreon uh, at $1 those people will get more of that one dollar than if you're supporting one person. So keep that in mind as well. Um, and the more that you support any individual person, the more of that they will get uh, up to a certain amount. It, it I, th I think the highest you can really get is a little bit over 90%, just because of the, uh, the fees and everything like that. But I do really like uh, how uh, Patreon works and the payout that they give, much more so than um, Twitch subscriptions. But the Twitch subscriptions do go a long way, so if you, if that's the way that you prefer, uh, I would very much appreciate that. They have set up a new thing where you have subscription goals kind of thing, sort of. Um, you get a point per subscription, and if you get to a certain number of points, then you unlock new emote slots. Uh, I've already unlocked one, so anyone who is even the lowest tier uh, subscriber on Twitch has access to two emotes now. Um, and if I can get up to, uh, if I can get up higher, um, then that'll unlock a third one and then keep going, a fourth one, that sort of thing. Uh, so it, it definitely does uh, help, you know, for stream interactiveness and stuff like that for people to uh, support me there. And the nice thing is that uh, if you, anyone has a, an Amazon Prime and they're not currently taking advantage of the Twitch Prime uh, subscription, that's completely free, no, no extra money on your part, and I get some money out of it. Uh, it's a very, very nice way of, of doing it. Um, so there's a lot of ways to support me. Um, how, whatever way works for you, if you can afford it, is fantastic, and it does go a long way to... Uh, keeping the channel running, keeping uh, the content coming. I do really appreciate everyone who has been supporting me, both on Twitch, here on Patreon, and uh, over on YouTube through likes and comments and stuff like that. Uh, it means a lot to me, and it really does help. So that's basically it for the uh, channel. Um, again, on my main channel page, we've got the links, uh, link to my blog, uh, link to Discord, link to Twitter, link to Patreon, and uh, the link to Twitch. Uh, of course, I also include links in all my videos. There's Patreon links in, in every video. Uh, every stream video that goes up, as well as the videos that I put up when I go live, includes links to Twitch, so keep uh, an eye on those. Um, Discord links are pretty much everywhere as well, so uh, if you want to join in with any of these things, uh, please do. And uh, like I said, keep an eye out for the um, information about uh, joining uh, the monthly multiplayer for Imperator Rome. Anyway, once again, I want to thank everyone for their support. I want to thank everyone who has uh, discovered the channel through both Great Works and Imperator Rome. Uh, welcome. I hope you uh, continue to enjoy the content and check out the old stuff. And I hope everyone's uh, May goes well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.